Good morning, good morning. Okay, so welcome to Venus, the planet of the love, sweet love. Okay, so we're going to talk about a few things. Before I do, I just want to say a big shout out to Lauren and a big shout out to Katie Welch. Okay, um, they, she is the founder of the 78 Nautical. Um, the cards that I love, you guys love, well, she's the founder of 78 Tarot, okay, um, and you guys love my 78 Nautical, and a client of mine, Lauren, you know, sent me a gift, and Katie threw in some extras, and I just think it's, it's priceless, um, I can't say thank you, thank you enough, so I got a few new decks, I do, um, I do have another deck I am going to use of hers that I will pull out. This one's Katie's, her little one. She got a tiny little one. Um, so I'm going to use these decks for you guys today, and I'm going to break some stuff down. But I want to, um, I want to discuss a few things first. Okay, we're going to talk about Venus and yeah, Mercury, all that stuff. Okay, guys. Um, so happy March 1st. Happy, 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 happy March 1st. Okay. Um, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Even though it's Mercury Retro, you know, it's okay. This is going to be a month where you're going to try to make sense of a lot of things. And it might be rational, not rational. It really just depends. Okay. Venus is going to spend most of its time in Aquarius and it rules communication. Okay. It's also ruled by it's well mercury rules communication okay so it's it's imagination it's creativity it's communication all right you're going to even appreciate the uncertainty of things especially when you feel lost um the new moon will be in pisces in the beginning of the month it's going to inspire you to to have faith and to move forward and, and keep hope and all that stuff. I, I believe it's the same day Uranus enters Taurus. And I believe, well, I know for a fact it's the first time in 76 years, okay? But I I believe it's the same day of the new moon. Don't quote me, but I'm almost positive. And then once Venus leaves Aquarius, it's going right into Pisces towards the end of the month, all right? So <clears throat> it's going to be great. So... Um, I just know March 1st, which is today, it enters Aquarius, okay? So, you know, respect boundaries, rules, that type of stuff. Um, beauty will be, like, experimental. So if you're having a hard day, ladies, don't, don't go cut your bangs off, okay? <laughs> don't be doing anything drastic. Um, otherwise... You know, it's 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 sentimental, it's serendipitous, it's it's that type of stuff. It's sweet, okay. I do know that Mercury retrograde does start on Tuesday the fifth. All right, so don't don't freak out. You know, keep your panties on. Allow the time to get to like A to Z. You know that type of stuff. Um, your heads might be in the cloud. My daughter's head was in the clouds yesterday, thinking she was getting a belly button ring. Okay, at the age of fourteen, she's crazy. Any hoozy, so it's it's that type of energy, okay? Um, but the retro gives us a second chance, guys. So it's I think a lot of people are like, ah, oh, freak out moment, but nah, it's not, okay? It's it's second chances, it's it's digging deep into the memory to remind you of how much you love or or how much in common you share with somebody. Um I believe the new moon in Pisces is the sixth. And I know that goes into Neptune, it joins Neptune, okay. And I love Neptune. It's inspiring. It's inspiring for me. Okay. And Neptune loves music and wants you to find yourself. Okay. So it's gorgeous. So lots of growth there. Um, I know there's an eight long stretch of Aries and Uranus. Okay. And that can be a little tricky. I don't know much about that, but you can research that yourself. Um, I just remember reading something about that. Um, uh, it's just going to be a time to review what's working and what's not working. Um, and then March 20th, I do know, um, is the spring equinox. Okay. So the sun's going to leave Pisces and go in the Aries and winter becomes spring. And, and you know the deal. It's, it's exciting. All right. So Aries is going to kick it off for us with the full moon. 
which will be opposite Libra. I do know that. Um, I believe also the 20th, something about that Wednesday that I was feeling. I know I know Jupiter has something to do with it, but Jupiter loves growth and they love to expand, so be careful, okay? Um, sometimes during Mercury, you know, there's confusion, um, miscommunication, that type of stuff, guys, but you're going to be okay, all right? It's, it's about second chances and, and not giving up and just review what needs to be reviewed, okay? Um, and I do know towards the end of the month, either March 30th or the 31st, um, Mars leaves Taurus, which brings us to Gemini. And Gemini is, is Gabby, okay? But it likes to buckle down too sometimes. So it's like, it's, you're going to get a push, okay? And it's it's just going to be from source. It's going to give you motivation, that type of stuff. It's beautiful, okay? I know, um why you guys are dealing with this. I did write, it was my other notes. I did write down, um, my little, a little thing. Okay. So my Aries, you're going to be on the verge of an awakening. Okay. Which I think is great. Taurus, you're going to be hard to ignore. Okay. It's, you're very persistent anyway and strong willed, but, um, Gemini, you're going to be hanging out with people. You know, sometimes it's just for status. So be careful. Um, I do know cancer, you're going to start feeling more spiritual. Okay. Um, experiencing more pleasure. I know Leo is, you know, lots of trust, enjoying yourself more. Um, Virgo is, it's, it's, it's the trust to it. Certain connections that you're going to have in certain relationships, especially to your dreams. So pay attention. Libras, um, you're going to be maintaining the, the mental aspect of things and you're going to get all sorts of gifts. Um, Scorpio, your partner can be a little passive aggressive. All right. So, but the attitude is not like a huge threat. So if anything, just kind of like brush it off as, as much as you can. Um, <clears throat> that's important. Okay. Um, some of you might think like, oh, that's, you know, that's, it's cute when he does this or vice versa. Okay. All right. So let's leave it at that. Um, my little Saggies, Mercury is going to leave you kind of like with all these ideas and possibilities and you're going to ask yourself, could I have done this? Could I have done that? Okay. So be careful there. Um, Capricorn, invest your paychecks, do what it is you do, invest in the future. You're good at that. Um, things are going to get a little kinky for you, which I think is fabulous. Um, Aquarius, you're that whole seven year, you're in that whole seven year of that cycle of the homemaking, which I think is great. So unexpected changes, you know, you're going to be grounded. It's the whole domestic life for you. And my little Pisces babies, you know, you tend to go with the flow anyway, but you're going to be more understanding on why you're going with the flow because you guys are about to start a, a gorgeous, gorgeous journey. Okay. So there's that. Um, let's bust the deck out. Let's bust the deck out. And um, let's see what it wants to talk about. All right. So that's exciting. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful this deck is. You guys are going to love it. You're just going to love it. It's sparkly. It's gold. It's, it's just gorge. So let me just talk to my deck real quick. Let's see what we're looking at for Venus. And Mercury's there too, but you know, if there's mistakes that need to be fixed, you're gonna make those. You're gonna make those mistakes. You're gonna go in. You're gonna. You're gonna want to fix them. Okay. Um. Again, Mercury is kind of like. I know it can be tough and dreary, but it, it's gonna be. This one's not gonna be as brutal, guys. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a great, great month. This gonna be a great, great month. It's going to be life-altering for me, and I'm ready. Okay, so we have the lovers trying to do what lovers do, and we have justice. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we get.
I kind of want to, I'm just going to pull the, I'm going to pull six cards and then I'll read you the story of what it's trying to tell us, okay? And we'll get down to the bottom of it. This deck is gorgeous, guys. It's one of those decks where it's a little awkward in your hand at first, but then it all, it all works out in due time, okay? That's too many. I will tell you, Justice is here to balance out the scales when it comes between you and a lover, which would make sense, guys, because it's, it's Venus, okay? We have the Five of Cups. This talks about the mistakes. And... Own up to your own stuff, guys, okay? Um, be completely honest with yourselves because you you want to... This is a time to acknowledge... Oh, one fell. This is a time to acknowledge those mistakes and, and make the mistakes better, okay? So we have the world. So, something's come in full circle, which makes complete sense, so don't panic. It doesn't mean everybody that steps back into our lives is meant to be either, ladies and gents, okay? But this is not where we're going with this. This is more about, this is more your read, okay? You absorb it how it needs to be absorbed. But something is definitely coming full circle. Whoa. Whoa. Too many. Too many troops. Two more, please. Two more. What do we got? What do we got? We got the two of pence. What do we got? What do we got? One more, please. One more. Thank you. And then we have the Six of Wands. Woo-wee. Okay. That came out in almost all the raw loves. So. Oh, look at the moon at the bottom of the deck. Look how gorge. Absolutely priceless. Okay. Um, <laughs> look at the fool. Oh, I just want to take him home. Okay, but who knows? It might be a foolish decision, you know? But, I mean, who doesn't want to take him home? I'll take him home. All right, so. We got the moon right there, too. Okay. Um, she was at the bottom of the deck, so I'll, I'll place her right there. We'll talk about her. We'll talk about her, too. Okay. We'll do that. So. Can you see her? Can you see her? So, we got the lovers. This is most definitely being guided. There's pure thoughts. There's somebody owes somebody alimony. <laughs> but um, it, it's... It's going on the path. It's also taking a break. It's it's coming together. It's most definitely something coming full circle here. There is no question. All right. Um, again, just this. Balancing out the scale. Something's heavy. Okay, but it's it's the mistakes that you've made in the past. Okay, and you're gonna fix them. It's and it's sitting under the the six of wands. Okay, so you're gonna be victorious when it comes to moving forward. Okay, so if you go into the dock for a little while, then go into the dock and figure it out. There's nothing wrong with that. To me, right off the bat, this is saying full circle. Something's coming full circle. So even if you're in a relationship, ladies and gents, I'm telling you, it, it's gonna get better. Um, or it might be get a little rougher, but you you figure it out. It might be a little rough around the edges here and there. All right, so you got the two of pence, and with the two of pence being right under justice is, is like, whoa, okay. Um, grounding a situation, 
Okay. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of juggling for you guys. A lot of fast energy in and out. We have the Six of Wands and... You know, this is being victorious. This is, I mean, you're floating on the clouds. Like, this is the divine putting you exactly where you need to be. Okay. Um, let me, well, let me just see. No, I want to look in the book real quick. I normally never go by the book. But... It's telling me to with the lovers because a lot of times the lovers is about making decisions. Um, I try not to look at it that way. It just really depends on how it really just depends on how um, how and what it's sitting next to. I'll put it that way. Okay. Um, Okay, so the lovers, the owls represent an Aphrodite with the dove, pure and natural, it's the lovers cards, the daughter of the shallot, okay, hold on, it's just love, passion, pleasure, okay, it's, it's the whole Venus, which, you know, which I think is great, um, goddess of in inspiration, arts, crafts. But basically, it's talking about partnerships, truths, okay, the, the, sense, the, the sense of self-dedication, all right, um, also speaks about Gemini, but we know that. Um, so something is most definitely going to come into balance. Something's going to be justified. Um, it, it's like that final justice, you know, say you're in the court systems with an ex- it's coming in. Um, it's going to be completed. Divorces will be final. Stuff like that will be final. Um, but this is talking about a partnership, you know, especially coming full circle. So whatever this is, it's going to be, it's going to be fair, fair and just. It, it's what's supposed to be coming your way. Okay. Um, let me just look up one more thing. Do, 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 do. The world. All right. Completion, fulfillment, victory. But we know that. I wanted to see what I was mainly looking for. If, if some some decks, if certain ones come out side by side, you should really read them in a whole nother light. But I'm not really seeing that. Okay. So that's good. So endings and beginnings and all that stuff. Okay. We do have the moon here. So it's, it's everything we talked about. It's dreams, fears, intuition, illusion. It's everything we talked about with all the planets coming in together too. Okay. So this is, this is a huge energetic shift, but it's here for you to balance out a situation and to look at the mistakes and to own up to your mistakes and most definitely move forward. This is when I always talk about let bygones be bygones type energy. Okay. This is, this is a story on my board and it's a, it's a, I can see some of the stories. Um, in others, it's it's harder for me to see. So we, I know, we do have a couple, um, but I do see this sorrow. Let me just double check her five of cups real quick, because it's telling me a different story, which I think is beautiful. But I want to make sure. It's the loss, regret, choice. So that has a lot to do with um that stuff so it's just a the so the gargoyle is in you know turmoil sadness sorrow um she's broken she's distraught unable to drag herself to the castle but here's the thing you can it, it's it's un, somebody was unable to justify something at the time okay or you're in that process of being able to you're in the process of not being able to process but I'm telling you it's you got a lot of regret and a lot of healing that needs to be done. Okay. So it's basically saying, let, you know, let the tears flow, knowing that happiness and joy is on its way and it's sitting under the six of wands. Okay. So it most, it most definitely is troops. Okay. So you, you may not want to see what's happening now, but it's basically saying you're ready. Okay. So in the meantime, take care of yourself. 
even with small joy. And, and this is small joy coming at you. Okay, so it's this heartache, this sorrow. You, you're coming out of whatever was unjustified, okay, or whatever is, is about to be justified because this is coming full circle, okay? This is a completion, so a new door can open. And, yeah, you can be juggling, but here it's, it's, it's you're going to balance it out. I'm telling you, you're going to have a lot going on, okay, um, but you're going to be perfectly, perfectly fine. It, it's It's... It's a small victory. I almost said one step to mankind. Um, so it's a huge spiritual transformation. So this is like, this is our March energy. Things being justified. Things coming to completion. Things coming to an order. You know, juggling, fast-paced, lots going on, but being victorious. Letting bygones be bygones. Letting the sorrow go. Not feeling regret. Not feeling defeated talking about what's actually happening, going towards the unknown. You guys, is um, the way it's sitting right here, I, I will tell you right now that you are dreaming of your lover, okay? Um, and, it, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Some of it, for some of you, it's signs that something's going to definitely come full circle, all right? Um, lots, of, lots of major arcana. We got four major arcana, okay? This talks about Mercury. That You know, that's for sure. Um she talks about grounding the situation, being victorious, moving forward, not letting things hold you down. Okay. Let's clarify um, the world real quick. I want to see. I don't want to see what's wrapping up. I want to see what's next. I want to see what's next. Trying to do what lovers do. I, I think what's next is, is ultimately the grounding of a situation. Um, this is going to be fast energy, so work on grounding yourself now, okay, because it's also in a very dark, shaded background, okay, um, so you pull the Ace of Wands, all right, with the world, so here you go, here you go, yo, so what's, so what's the scenario, look how cute, all right, so it's a brand new adventure. One door shut for another one to open. Okay, so whatever needs to be closed, close it. Let bygones be bygones. If you're in the middle of a divorce proceeding, okay, it's 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 gonna be okay. I'm sure some of you are excited and some of you are not. Um, I was excited, you know. <laughs> it, it's bittersweet, and you do get hit with a lot of sorrow and grief and what ifs, but um. If you know you're doing the right thing, it, you're, you're going to have this new start. And, and say you didn't want anything to do with the divorce and or the breakup. But there's there's more out there. Okay, The fact that it's going in the same direction is basically telling me this particular lover is coming full circle for a group of you. Um, which is great if that's what you want. Okay. It's a brand new star. It's that girl is on fire, but it's like that kitty's on fire. Let's not go into the gutter. Okay. Let's not go into the gutter, but she's on fire. Well, he's on fire. Looks like a boy cat. <laughs> Looks like a Tom cat. Thomas O'Malley, O'Malley the alley cat. Okay. Is ready for a new beginning. Something is very inspiring. All right, so I think that's gorgeous. Let's find out about the Two of Pence. And it's the Page of Cups. So this is somebody who... It's a mermaid. She's confused. Um, she's confused. I'm going right to the book and they're telling me not to. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Don't get mad at me. Innocent joy, inspiration. Getting creative. She does not seem inspired. Um, you're, This is trance-like energy for me, guys. This is seeing things through like a, a child's eye, which I think is great. It's emotional. Um, it's inspiring. Using your imagination, it's right here. 
but you guys are going to be in trance like energy. Um, but this is somebody young at heart coming into your life or it's you young at heart again. Okay. But it wants you to experience the world with your heart, which is the world is right here. Okay. So you're going to be in trance like energy with a lot going on. You're going to be juggling a lot, maybe a move, a new job, a new path, career path, um, a new situation ship. This to me is not speaking of a teenager. It's a possibility, but to me, this is you. This is you going into that new world. And they're saying, take your heart with you. Okay. Um, you're, in a, you're in a trance. Um, tell me about justice. What a beautiful deck. Thank you, thank you. Justice, please, justice. This justice is linked to your lover, okay? It doesn't mean anybody's right or anybody's wrong. It means moving forward without taking, without blaming anybody else. It's, you know, it's it's that type of energy, okay? Um, and the Eight of Wands. So this is a message coming in. This is also a very divine journey, okay? It's, it's your time for these doors to open, to have something beautiful and brand new and mysterious and unknown, life-altering energy. Beautiful, Eight of Wands. It's also a message that you're going to get from your lover, okay? Um, I also think they're upset. Oh, you're upset. Tell me about the Five of Cups. What's the Five of Cups about? We know it obviously has to do with the lover, but I also feel like wherever you go in the next few weeks, especially this month of March with Mercury, um, <clears throat> don't focus on this Five of Cups. Don't focus on the sorrow or regret. All right, don't don't focus on that, okay? You have the Ace of Cups. Take your hat with you, okay? Um, and you have the Page of Swords that pops out with it. But this is, there's love here. There's a Page of Swords here, okay? There's, there's a Page of Swords that's upset. So now we have a feminine energy and a masculine energy. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Fool masculine energy coming back around and they're asking the divine feminine to, to you ha carry your heart okay but it looks like they have they're carrying unconditional love too but look at those look look at that okay um it's the ace of cups but this page of swords somebody looks like is watching you keeping a close eye on you somebody's got your back is what I'm hearing um they're sitting with a lot of sorrow but there's also a lot of love and we have this one energy that's in like trance like energy right now and The divine is legitimately asking you to take your heart with you. Let love in again. Regardless if it's a makeup, a breakup, a divorce, a renewal, let love in again. The page of swords, it looks like their hot chakra is open. And I'm telling you, you're both coming in as pages. So you're both on the same page. You're ready for new. And this is to me is saying, I just saw the sun, but this to me is saying it's going to be victorious. Okay. So Venus is here to, the Aquarius part of, of this all is the communication. Start off with the communication, which is here. Okay. Um, 
we have the Venus, which is the lovers, even though it's Gemini, but it's it's the lovers. It's it's self care, self love. It's here, unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's it's all working together. We got Mercury. We got the Aquarius. We got Mercury. We have the Aries energy being victorious going forward. Something coming full circle. Um, tell me about the Six of Wands. So communication is going to come in. Too many, and the pops the emperor. Communication is going to come in, and. <clears throat> I'm feeling like someone's going to have difficulty letting somebody love them is what I'm seeing is what I'm feeling. You do have a particular energy watching you, whether it's a guide or someone else. And then you have one that's in trance like energy, but you have this one's energy that's magnetic right now too. And they're ready. They're ready for that new start. I don't know if you inspired them, spirit inspired them. They got a whole new outlook on on life right now, okay? Remember that. That's an important message they want you to remember. Tell me about the six of wands, please. Six of wands. You're definitely dreaming of this person too, for sure. Okay. Um, and it's the seven of pence. So it's is that a queen? Wow. Um wow. What is she doing to me? It's you're gonna be victorious if you invest time in this new endeavor. You know, it, it's saying what it's been saying. If you invest certain time, whether it's with or without somebody, you invest your time in yourself or someone else. It's almost that dream state too, but in a knowing. Like, look at, look at these two women. I don't know. Wow. This means that someone's put a lot of effort in, okay? This is also being right here, okay? Somebody who's but who's in the public eye has put a lot of effort into their work. It's essential that you stay on the right path and you, you set your goals and don't waste any time, okay? You need to work smart here. You're going to be rewarded for your hard work, which makes sense with justice being here, okay? Um... This is Mother Earth. No wonder why she took me by surprise. I gotta read about her. But she's successful. She's a provider. Okay, this already talks about somebody who invested that. It's like the perfect personification that's depicted on this card. Like, to me, it is. So she's already go in places she's going to be extremely victorious so it talks about the feminine energy but you also see what i'm saying with the tool pens you got a lot going on you're in trance like states something's coming full circle you got messages coming in messages of love let me love you oh baby she's scared it's okay. It's going to be okay. I mean, holy fuck, look at you. This is the same person. Like, hello. You got Mama Earth right here. Do you understand me? <sighs> Tell me about the moon. And then you got the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck. See what I'm saying? Like she's she's a little scared. A little bit. What a gorgeous card. 
she does not seem intimidated because she's, this is, you've already invested time. This is you. You're already confident. Okay. And then you have this new coming in and it's trance like energy, but it's, it's like the dynamics shift, the dynamics change. They're saying it's, it's okay. It's going to be okay. I don't want to get upset. All right. It's okay. Look at who you are already. Now it looks like you're just going to have someone by your side. Okay. So look at this gorgeous moon. Ruled by Cancer. That's me. That's me. Cancer rules the moon, even though it's the Pisces card. Okay. But they're screaming Pisces and Cancer to me. Um, more Pisces right now. But... Tell me about the moon. This is, um, it's kind of like all I'm hearing is let it be, let it be. And it's not baby just let it be. It's not that song. It's, it's like an old, it's an old original song. Let it be, let it be. Okay, so we got the hermit. So she's, or he, is most definitely soul searching. Okay, there's no question. What a gorgeous hermit. He's handsome. He's mysterious. What a character. The two of them belong together. It doesn't even have to be a Pisces or a Virgo, guys. I'm just saying, like, the two of these characters, you're about to tell a love story. Oh my god. He's just staring at me. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Look at her eyes. Look at how beautifully they mesh. This was not an easy love story, ladies and gents. And I just have her staring at me. Let it be, let it be. Okay. I'm going to throw you one of these little cards by Katie. Overall message. I'll read from the book. These are all animals. Okay. It says united. Oh. It's a little baby ant. He's so cute. Court loves little ants. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. No one stops. They all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So, the ants be united. Even when you see an ant alone, he is still doing the task for his entire tribe, a colony. It's called an ant land. An ant knows how to be a team player. An ant is tiny and can't do much on its own unless it has help for others. That's why they have a colony. But more importantly, suddenly the yummy cookie crumbs become accessible as they all start working together to carry it home. Each ant plays a different role, and each role is equal in their own ant land. The ant's energy reminds us of the true spirit of the community and what a friendship really means. It is possible to be united with somebody right now, also finding your own identity. It is possible for two members of the colony to be excited at something without being competitive. The strive to strive to hard work without threatening one another. To work joyfully in the colony together by helping each other and being who you are and caring for yourself. Be working hard as a master at your unique skill. You encourage others to master theirs. I will be united. What this is saying to me is that you're both going on different journeys and you're doing it together. 
there is no need to compete. And we've been talking about that competitive energy. I did, a, I did a short thing on it the other day for the daily energy, if you guys want to go back and reference that, about people competing with each other, the divine feminine and masculine um, competing. Don't you dare. There is no need. There is no need at all. It is possible that the two of you, that you're going to unite. You're going you're gonna to create a destiny together, but on your own. There is no need to be competitive Go about this without being competitive, which is kind of telling me there's kind of like two alphas. I mean, look at that. Look at look at the match. I just heard a match made in heaven. Okay. Do not compete. Be your own two individual individuals and bring it together. Let it be, let it be. You guys have a lot to talk about. What a gorgeous read, ladies and gents. Have a fantastic, fantastic month of March. I'll see you later, Gators. Have a fantastic day. All right, like I said, enjoy Mercury. It's all good. I love you guys. Bye.